10 point 2d factor trinomials without a leading coefficient. If the leading coefficient in front of our x squared term is a 1, then the two numbers will add to the middle. Meaning, here when we have a trinomial of the form x squared plus bx plus c, oops, that's supposed to be an x, plus c, the factors of c add up to be b, or subtract, depending on whether we have a positive or negative. You can only do this if the leading coefficient is 1. If you have a number there, it doesn't work. So these you're going to find pretty easy. So to do this, in example 1, we're going to go ahead and put our two boxes just like we would normally. I get to put my x's in. I don't have to worry about anything in front of them. I want to make sure that I look at my last sign and make sure that I know whether I am subtracting or adding my factors. When I think of 8, I think of 2 and 4. So because we're subtracting, we're looking for factors of 8 that when we take the difference give us 2. Well, of course that is 2 and 4. We want to have a negative 2, so that means my larger number, my 4, has to be negative. My smaller number then would have to be positive because remember we have the opposite signs. And we're done. That easy. So let's take a look at our second example. Again, I want to put in my two boxes. I get to put my x's in. Again, this says I am subtracting. If it was positive, we would be adding. I'm looking, oops, I need a y. I didn't notice the y to start with. We want to put that in. Factors of 8. Well, we have 2 and 4, but when we take the difference, we get 2 there. My other factors of 8 would be 8 and 1. When I take the difference between 8 and 1, I get 7. Okay, so let's put those in. And I want a positive 7, so that means my larger number, my 8, needs to be positive, and my 1 needs to be negative. Now, I don't generally write a 1 in front of my variables, so we would probably ch go ahead and rewrite and write, leave it like this, and you're done.